Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Making History the Great War, playing as the Japanese Empire. Uh, it's been a few, uh, it's been a while since I played. I did get the copyright permissions from the uh, uh, company that developed this game, Factus Games, I believe it is. Uh, they also might be sending me uh, Making History the Second War, Second Great War, which is World War II, which would be really very nice of them if they do that. Um, Eddie Giles, thank you for all the comments. I did read them all. I don't know if I remember everything you said. It was a while ago. Um, but I'll try to address as many things as I can. Let's see here. We're going to start with uh, trade deal canceled. Steel trade agreement between the United Kingdom and Japan has been canceled. Uh, United Kingdom supplies of steel is low. Alliance expands. Montenegro will join the Greek alliance. This is an interesting alliance. This doesn't seem... I don't recall this really happening in history. Serbia. Serbia was allied with Russia from what I remember. Unless there's some sort of um, non-mainstream, historical mainstream uh, alliance that was there. Uh, I can't think of the word I was trying to use for that. Uh, naval unit produced. Torpedo boat has been completed in Nagasaki Shipyard. Those are all the announcements we have. Capacity is low. We are, uh, I think, moving troops and expanding... Um, some of our rail capacity. We have deployed our armies along the Chinese front, and it really doesn't look like there's a lot of Chinese there. Uh, getting ready to declare war on China for sure. It looks like we've got, let's see, that's 10, 16, 23 divisions on the Chinese front. Um, light cavalry, we're gonna advance. One thing Eddie, Eddie uh, mentioned, which I definitely agree with, is we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, upgrade our, uh, especially Seoul, uh, upgrade our recruitment centers because these barracks really don't give us many options. Militia, light cavalry, whereas uh, the recruitment centers themselves give us infantry, Mounted infantry, engineers, and marines, definitely um, better there. Ironworks, ironworks, I think help towards steel, right? Eventually, though, they're part of the steel mill line, from what I remember. We oh, we do have a recruitment center in Seoul, very good. Where else were we looking for recruitment centers? Tokyo, Tokyo, I'm not as concerned with right now. Um, who else? Toyama, and I'm not going to pronounce these names right, they're building a university, so we're not going to mess with them right now, and the other one is Oskawa. Oskawa, Oskawa! Yeah, I definitely think we can upgrade to a recruitment center here, let's go ahead and do that. So let's take a look at our production totals here, well this is our uh, research steel agreement. Heavy industries. Heavy industries will be great. That opens medium rail capacities and gives a lot of options. Uh, it's about 53% complete. We still have a ways to go there. Recruitment infrastructure. Uh, light cavalry, field infantry, our field artillery and infantry. Torpedo boat constructed. Do I want another torpedo boat? Not really. Um, I'd rather have something else here. Expanding coal and metal production, that would help. We're down, so we're short on steel. Ironworks. Ironworks produces steel. I don't remember. Ottoman Empire is fighting battles against the Italians, trying to gain control over the sphere of influence in the uh, Levant, Eastern Mediterranean era, era, area. So there seems to be some combat going here. What I want to do is change that... I don't want torpedo boats anymore. Instead... What about a pre-dreadnought battleship? That sounds good. Or a merchant raider. 
That cost us steel. That cost us steel. We really don't have a lot of steel to give. Shipping capacity also costs steel. Marine, everything costs steel. Idle production? I don't want to go there. Protected cruiser. I don't know the difference between these ships, though. I assume the print dreadnought battleship is the most powerful one. Monitor? I don't know what that does. Merchant Raider sounds cool, though. Let's go Merchant Raider. We'll see what happens. Of course, we'll get comments on that. Um, fishery. What's going on in our research? Pros prospecting. Looks like the reserves are increasing in a lot of these prospecting areas. Expanding. I don't think you need to expand any more there. Probably let's prospect. Uh, you should prospect. Definitely want to expand these here. Prospecting. 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 And we'll wait a little bit for the rest of them to catch up. Oh, that's the process. Prospecting capacity, I guess, here. That's interesting. Here! Well, I guess we'll get prospecting up to 100%, right? And then, once that's up to 100, um, then we'll expand it. Infrastructure wise, we do have some medium rail density. Low rail density is better, but I'm not going to produce anything else at the moment, right? Because if I produce too much at the same time, then um, it slows down production. So let's just focus on these projects right here for now and continue to advance our, our position, our troops for. Uh, the attacks that we want to make. There's too many fleets here. Second fleet. Um, it's tough to find where your fleets are. I'm going to move one of the fleets. Fourth fleet. I don't think I have to worry too much about my fleet because the Chinese fleet is like nothing. I'll move the fourth fleet here into Korean Bay. There we go. And as far as the rest of the line here, we've got seven infantry divisions, six Korean divisions. And 10, so that's 23 total divisions. Did I say this already? 23 total divisions. Let's take a look at what the Chinese have. World forces. Armies. Where is China? I want this in alphabetical, actually. China, 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 where are you? Look at all these British colonies, Chinese Eastern Railroad. Is it the Empire of China? Ah, uh, I'm not seeing China. Hello, China. Where are you? What, what is this? What is it called? Republic of China. Ah. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Where am I? I'm in the wrong spot. There it is. Republic of China is what I'm looking for. And you are all the way down there. Okay, Republic of China. Defensive combat, combat power. 29 militia divisions. What do we say? We have 23. 29 militia and um, 14 cavalry put us at 
39, 45, 45, 23. I need another 22 divisions, I guess. That's what I'm really looking for here. That's a lot. I don't know if I need all that right away. Who is this? Japanese Reserve Fleet. Enter the port of... I guess you don't have anybody. Fifth Fleet's there. All right, so we'll send the, the reserve fleet to the port of Pusan. And we'll wait for this 10th army to recruit more infantry. First army is pretty strong here, but we want to keep somebody at home. I guess I need to recruit more troops. Resources, infrastructure, not what I'm looking for. Mm, well, I guess we need more recruitment centers. I'm going to go ahead and hit the end turn button here to see what happens. I thought I had more, uh, more troops somewhere. Kingdom of Bulgaria has severed diplomatic relations with the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans are losing ground to the Greek alliance and to militia trained and to infantry. There we go. And to the Italians. So it looks like the Ottoman influence in um, the east, in the eastern Mediterranean, like I said, is not going very well. All right, we now have two... Infantry divisions trained here. Where was that militia? Back to our production. Militia. Where is this? This is on Formosa. Two militia. This is a Formosan army. Not our army. Two marines there. Militia and Marines here. I think I want to move this army towards Formosa, actually. Let's enter... Oh, there is an army here. Yeah, I, I don't like the way the game... The, f the, the game doesn't show you if the fleet is carrying anybody. That's the one thing I don't like about the game. Um... Still got a while before we produce anything. Infantry, light cavalry, field artillery. I'll probably want to move some of my field artillery. Albania attacked Ottoman Empire in Kosovo. Ottoman Empire attacked Albania in Illyria. Ottoman Empire attacked Kingdom of Italy. A lot of fighting going on between uh, the Ottoman Empire and Italy. Kingdom of Italy won a battle. Ottoman Empire won a battle. Okay. So we're going to hold off on anything else as of right now. 60% 60, 60 towards heavy industries. That's good. That grew about 7% there. We're still short on steel. So that's the one thing I would like to trade for if I could. Let's check out... There's trade. Steel. I want to stockpile as much as possible. Uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. What about Australia would be a nice one to buy five steel from? That's selling steel. Uh, India, British India would be a good one to make an offer to. We want every turn. Shipping responsibility is towards British India. Market price is eight gold, 35 units. Uh, 21 units makes it uh, 168 gold for the offer. And they accept. Yes! So we are now bringing in steel from India. That's going to really help out a lot. So we got arms, fuel, steel, lots of coal, good amount of metal, a little bit more oil could probably be needed. We got sufficient amount of food, and we got a ton of cash still. We're still making cash, so things are going very well for the Japanese Empire economically. I think it's time to increase our forces as much as possible. We have to expand our army. 230, 273. 
how much money we're making. I don't know what the maintenance cost is per unit. Light cavalry has completed his recruitment there. We're just going to advance them there. Alright, we've got... Alright, we've got some groups here. Let's join these armies. Let's merge these armies together. Merge groups into one. That gives us a total of six militia and three marines. Well, I'm going to split it up again, and I'm going to take... Oh! Infantry will split off. And let's send the infantry to the front. Where do they need it the most? Seven infantry there. Probably here. Is this militia? Yeah, it's militia. Alright, so let's send these two infantry to that province. That looks pretty solid. This group we're going to split up. And... I'm going to leave three militia behind to guard that port. And I'm going to take this army and... Load onto transport. And how are we doing production-wise? Heavy industry still at 60%. Diplomatically, nothing. Battles, recruitment center, one turn till more. Field artillery, here's the battles, combat report. Italy seems to be winning a lot of battles here. Things seem to be going very well for the Italians. Ending turn. A lot of countries still here. Oh man, tired. Oh, Afghan Emir assassinated. I don't even know you can assassinate people in this game. Uh, leader of the Afghan leader of Afghanistan has been killed by a political opponent upset with his close associations with the British. I can't pronounce that. And frustrated with his reforms, his son Amula Khan is the new Emir. Uh, he may not be as willing to accept British interference as his father was. Interesting. Trade deal canceled between the United States and Japan. Too low there. Austrian Empire has severed diplomatic ties with the Ottomans. Ottomans are uh, losing ground here. This is the sick... Oh, Russia has severed diplomatic ties. Not good. We, we want uh, a balance of power. Field artillery and militia recruited. 70% on heavy industries. How are we doing with steel? We still have enough steel. We still have steel surplus, so I'm not worried about uh, that at all. Field artillery, merchant raider, infantry, and light cavalry. What about our production? Low rail density. I don't think that's expanding at all. And I think I was told why, but I don't remember. Two turns until recruitment center. That'll be complete. Combat report. Kingdom of Italy is winning. No steel. Okay, I'm fine with all that. Um, what I want to do is take this fleet, select the sixth fleet, and let's sail them. Let's sail them uh, to this bay. Second fleet is here still. Second fleet has. It's like six cruisers, coal-powered cruiser. Oh, pre-dreadnought battleships. Wow, these are pre-dreadnought pre battleships. All right, here is air defense, offensive combat power, and armor health. Yeah, I don't know what all that means yet. Um, we're going to keep this militia garrison here to guard Port Arthur. 13th Army, 2 Infantry is moving to link up with the 2nd Army. 
These two need to merge. There we go. 12th Army has two cavalry. They'll be able to easily grab uh, this territory from the Republic of China. Merge here. And we've got the 11th Army with uh, eight. We'll have the second with eight. <clears throat> and then 10. So that's 26 total forces against the Chinese for now. Two infantry there. Field artillery is here. I might want to move my field artillery into position. First fleet, Tokyo. Kind of want to keep the first fleet there. Let's move the first squadron into that port and I'm gonna move my artillery there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna move this artillery into uh, into the theater of battle. Looks like the Russians, wow, the Russians have mobilized a little, very large army on our border. Again, I have to watch out for these Russians. Fifth fleet's there. We'll wait till we recruit a few more. June seventh. Moving on. Deverish State. I've never heard of Deverish State before. Russia. Very concerned with Russia. Federales defeat Coloradus. That looks like the end of Pancho Villa's uh, rebellion. Romania has severed ties with the Ottoman Empire. Infantry recruited in Nagasaki. Very good. Does that mean we have three infantry here? Very good. Additional infantry. Pumping out a lot of infantry there. I do want Seoul to uh, they'll have a recruitment center one more turn. And then we'll stop making light cavalry and build more infantry in Seoul. Coal expansion is continuing. Light rail is, is halted. Let's see, universities are at 5, 5, 5. Recruitment center is at 11. That recruitment center is at 1. Iron works is at 7. Uh, merge these two units together. Merge all. So now they have eight, eight, and ten. Twenty-six total divisions. And I do need to land these guys into the port. Oh. Unload the ninth army. Good. Now there's a reason why this isn't producing and I forget why. Do I even need it? We don't have the uh, rail capacity, I guess. Even though I'm trying to increase rail capacity. But I think that needs to be increased through steel, steel factories. Production. Steel mills. They will increase rail capacity. Let me take a look at my steel mills, actually. No, no, no. Mills. Metalworks. Metalworks. Ironworks come first. We have ironworks being built there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because it's not working. And we really want to concentrate on improving our ironworks so we can increase our rail capacity, which seems to be zero at the moment. 
Alright, so what did I say? 26 divisions. If I send three more, that'll be 29 divisions against the Chinese who have nothing up here. Um, Republic of China. Here we are. I want to see. We have claims on. I'm going to add claims here. This might be conflicting with Mongolia. But I don't care. We are adding a bunch of claims all over because what I've been told is that if you add claims, it only increases tension between you and the country. And we don't care about the tensions between us and China because we're planning on invading China. So if that's the only negative, I should claim as much territory as I can get, I think. I think south of this river, which is either the Yangtze or the Yellow, maybe we'll leave that to Formosa to let them manage. But why not claim all this territory? Yeah, I don't know why I don't. Tibet may have an issue with that. Alright, so we've made all our claims there. Uh, yeah. Next turn. Recruit Center built in Seoul. We can switch our production now. Universities are four turns away. That will up, upgrade our research capacity. Recruitment Center in Oskawa is at ten turns. I should probably upgrade the other recruitment centers at this point, I think. Constantin Constantinople has fallen. Oh my god. The Italian army has conquered the imperial city of the ancient Roman Eastern Empire. Wow. Italy. Civil war has broken out. Constitutionalists broke away from Mexico. Initially in conflict. War has been declared. we got Mexico and the Constitutionalists. Republic of China has severed diplomatic relations with Japan. That's because we uh, went ahead and claimed all those territories. Recruitment, militia, construction of recruitment center in Seoul. We are ready for war almost. Okay, so let's see here. I want to see what happened in uh, Italy here. Italy moving in, and they have, looks like they've grabbed a huge chunk of land. Uh, from the Ottomans. Albania. Ottoman Empire are just holding on to pockets here in Europe. Serbia. Yeah, this whole coalition, and that's Montenegro, right? Huge coalition here is formed against the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire, sick man of Europe, is in decline. We're not going to intervene at all, I don't think, at this point. The Italians are gaining strength. Alright, so uh, we're short on steel. Let's see if we make a trade deal with the Italians, maybe. They don't have any steel to offer. The Kingdom of Spain offering one. France offering three. Russia, two. We'll do France. Buy some steel from them. And let's buy steel from the United States. We want to keep good relationships with them. Excellent. And now we have a steel surplus again. Looks good. Uh, Seoul. Light cavalry one turn. That'll be the last light cavalry we produce. Then we'll switch over to infantry. And I think our field artillery is four turns away, so let's go ahead and load this field artillery here. You know, that's a reposition. Load that field artillery on the transport. 
two turns for more infantry in Nagasaki. We'll wait. There are no Chinese forces on our front, so we should be able to move against them very quickly. Gain a lot of ground. And down here, in Formosa, merge these units together. Fifth Army now has five Marines and three militia. That'll serve as a good beachhead down here in the south once all these southern forces move up to the northern front. And that's when we'll knock them out. All right, in the meantime, we have 73% complete on heavy industries we've got some agreements here I just looked at that oh wow look at that okay go for one more turn And we are almost ready for war with China, guys. Just to let you know, the episode is about to end here because we're over 30 minutes. Um, but in the next episode or two, I definitely think uh, war is going to break out. Let me just upgrade this Seoul facility. We're going to switch from producing light cavalry to producing infantry. Mountain infantry? Let's go infantry. And how the, how's the other production going here? Resources, uh, we seem to be gaining a lot of reserves here. But I'm going to wait till it hits 80%. I don't know if that's going to grow or not, but... Well, we've got two expanding outputs here. We've got surpluses and everything. Except for steel. So that's the one thing I might want to add... Tokyo. Let's add some ironworks to Tokyo. Three turns until these are completed. And then I was thinking about. upgrading. Oh, we can't upgrade any recruitment centers. All our recruitment centers are upgraded. So, your turn. I'll try some mounted infantry out here about that. Mounted infantry in Tokyo? Or engineers? Let's see what mounted infantry looks like. Nah, I'm gonna go with infantry. Okay. All right, so that's been about 35 minutes. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying so far. Total, not total, um, making history of the Great War. <clears throat> We're about to declare war on China. Uh, I've got a few more forces to move into position. I could probably go ahead and declare war right now, maybe even next turn. Um, Sino-Japanese War Round 2, pretty much is going to occur here. The first sign of Japanese war was around 1894-1895, I think. Um, that's when the Japanese began to expand their influence in Asia after the Meiji Restoration of the mid-19th uh, century. So, um, if you do enjoy early 20th century politics, again, I recommend the book, uh, or in the politics that led up to World War One. I recommend the book uh, The Guns of August by Barbara Tuckman. I'll put a link in the description below for anyone who wants to buy that on Amazon. Amazon Affiliates. Uh, going for that link will not cost you any more money, but it will give a few extra bucks to my channel. If you'd like to support, if you're interested in reading a book and you'd like to support the channel, please do go ahead and buy through that link if you if you, if you like to. Um, you can also support me on Patreon, the link down below. Um, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to see more. 
Also, your comments are always welcome. Eddie Giles, of course, your comments are welcome. I'm sure I'll get them a whole ton from you again. Uh, your comments have been very constructive so far, and I think they help out a lot of people who are... Uh, anyone who's interested in learning about the game, I recommend you go through all the videos and check out all the comments that he's had there. Um, on top of that, school is starting for me. So, uh, not as many videos are going to be coming out during the school year, obviously. However, I am thinking about maybe... Uh, doing a few new things. Plutocracy is a game probably by the end of September where we'll, which will probably come out. Um, also, something happened with my India game in uh, GPS 4, which I don't think I'm going to... I think I lost it. Um, the save, which means I might be moving on to the next GPS 4 series, which was voted on back in like February or something like that, and that is the restoring of the Ottoman Empire, or the rise of Turkey in GPS4, so that sh that might be coming out soon. Total War Empire, not as popular. Maybe get a video out a week if I'm if we're lucky with the Prussian uh, Glory series. Uh, and I was thinking about maybe Hearts of Iron doing maybe like an AI simulation and commenting on that if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that, like an alternative history type video. Because uh, alternative history is something I'm very interested in and I think the AI generator is something you can with all the mods, is something you can definitely explore. So if you guys think you'd be interested in that, let me know. Uh, and uh, look out on the channel for some of for those videos. Those should be coming. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.